The annual NBA GM survey was released, and there was a good bit of stuff here. I will actually show the some of the survey results here on the screen for the people watching on YouTube. So they asked, there was like 30 questions? Oh, 50 different questions, but they listed some of the ones here. So the... GM survey, the GMs were asked which team will win the finals. 43% of the GMs answered Milwaukee Bucks. Golden State in second, Clippers in third, Celtics in fourth. And last year, the Nets were the ones that were predicted to win with 72% of the vote. Well, GMs are stupid, so. (laughs) So they're just sleeping on Brooklyn, that's all. I mean... I'm pretty sure Brooklyn won this vote the last two seasons, and they didn't even come close. So I don't know if they're sleeping on them or they're just kind of tired of picking them because they haven't been doing anything. I don't know how the like the the Bucks added some depth. They they got um, a still hobbled Joe Ingles. Middleton's yep. not going to be back for a little bit. Uh, they signed Portis to that big deal. They had Brooke Lopez. Hopefully, he stays healthier. Much healthier than he did last season. Giannis is around, uh, but I ju- I don't understand why they're. What's up with the the Warriors? Like, how can you count the Warriors out? I I think the Warriors are going to be better this season than they were last season. I think Cleveland will be uh, will be a bit. I mean, we all I think we all think this, but I think Cleveland will be a bit higher. I think Cleveland cracks the top four. I actually, when we talked about Cleveland, when we asked if they were a top three team, I think I had them in five. But I think, I still don't think Cleveland is going to crack the top four yet, personally. Well, if you look at uh, Milwaukee, and I mean, I don't think anybody outside of Milwaukee is a, a lock to be in the top three, to be honest with you. So why the fuck not? I mean, I think Milwaukee and Boston are a lock for the top three. I, I, I don't. Boston, I mean, they have Derek White and Brogdon off the bench. But other than that, I worry about, like, their depth. Their depth in, like, the four and the five. I think Philly might actually even be better than Boston. Just because I think Philly's, like, deeper. They have Embiid, who's, like I said, the arguably the best player in the league. Right. Second best player in the league. Harden if he returns to MVP form. So I think Philly's more of a lot to be in the top three than Boston is. But so in the Western Conference, it broke down with the Clippers. They think the Clippers are going to win the West. Um, Golden State in second. Then they have Phoenix, Denver, Memphis. And then tied for six is Dallas and Minnesota. And then eighth and ninth are Lakers and the Pelicans. I think I think Denver is going to be well above Phoenix this year. If if Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. both stay healthy, I agree they're going to be above Phoenix. But even if I mean you're looking at Bones Highland is going to be in the sixth man of the year conversation. Oh hell yeah, Bones is the man. The top three, as long as people stay healthy, I think are going to be Clippers, Warriors, Nuggets. Yeah, I, 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 I hate how everybody's loving the Clippers this season. I, it's I just, just because everyone's coming back. That's, that's I can't really get on board to it. I, I can't. I'm sorry. De- Golden State is by far a better team than the Clippers. I think Denver I is a better team than the Clippers. Uh, and I think Memphis is a better team than the Clippers. 